Donald Trump was interviewed last night by Sean Hannity. So as you can imagine, it was a very difficult interview full of hard-hitting questions. No, it wasn't. <laughs> um, but they did talk about some of what's been going on in this country, including both the pandemic, but especially the protests as well. And so here is Donald Trump talking about George Floyd and Rayshard Brooks and what he thought about those instances of police uh, violence. Well, the George Floyd case, uh, nothing has to be said. I watched that. I couldn't really watch it for that long a period of time. It was over eight minutes. And who could who could watch that? But uh, it doesn't get any more obvious or doesn't get any worse than that. And I think it's a, a different kind of a case. Uh, the event that took place yesterday was, I thought it was, uh, a terrible situation, but you can't resist a police officer. And, you know, if you have a disagreement, you have to take it up after the fact. It was a very sad, very, very sad thing. And look, uh, you really, you take a look, it was out of control. The whole situation was out of control. I heard today and just got a report that the uh, police officer's lawyer said that he heard a sound like a gun, like a gunshot. And he saw a flash in front of him. So that's an interesting, you know, I don't know that I would have necessarily believed that. But I will tell you, that's... Uh... So there he's talking first about George Floyd saying he couldn't actually watch the entirety of the video. Um, he doesn't have the attention span. That's, yeah, 100%. And then with Rayshard Brooks, he says he shouldn't have resisted. He should just take it up later. But you just got done talking about George Floyd. George Floyd didn't get a later to take it up because even when you just lay there, they kill you. It, yeah. There was 30 seconds between those two things and he, pre he pretended not to see the link. So I'm done listening to this rhetoric. And I, like I said, it's, it, it's right there categorized with the all lives matter arguments for me. I'm done having arguments with, uh, with people about, uh, things that we have, uh, the preponderance of evidence that supports that these statements are totally biased. Because when you think about all of the incidents that you have seen in the last few months of white people who have attacked police officers, have pulled out guns on police officers, have stormed in police officers' faces, have threatened police officers, and have walked away with their lives, then when, when you talk about that, that you should not resist arrest, mm -hmm. we are we are defining a, a, a specific uh, power that we're giving to law enforcement that is ex excluding what the what the what the regulations are supposed to be saying, which is you you begin by de-escalating the situation, right? And how do you de-escalate the situation? Well, we have plenty of videos that they know how to de-escalate the situation because they do it with white people all the time. And you see them talking to with men uh, swinging machetes and pulling out guns, mm -hmm. people that get tasered, somebody beat a cop up and took off in their car. Like you, you, they're, I mean, they have, uh, they have uh, montage videos of this. You can watch it on YouTube or any single social media platform platform. So when someone says you should not resist an off officer, what they're saying is you as a person of color, you as a black man do not have the right that other people in America, white people have to mm -hmm. resist arrest because the consequences for you are different. And that's all it means. There, let's not mince words. We're not doing that anymore because if it really is about resisting arrest, then there should be a whole lot more dead white people in America based on that belief, yeah. right? So, and that and that's what what happens when you have a president that doesn't understand the laws, the constitutions, that doesn't understand law enforcement and all of the entities beneath him because he does he does he lacks a basic education and did not sit down and read a law book, did not sit down and read the police. I mean, imagine if I if I was if I if I was uh, burdened with public office, I would feel that it would be my responsibility to read every piece of legislation, every law book, anything, all of the the, the b basic enumerated laws of my particular uh, uh, region, because I am I am the I'm over all of this stuff. This all of this stuff is my responsibility. So Donald Trump should know everything about poli the pol what police can do and cannot do. Right. Though I guarantee you that, you know, he probably watched it because it was in the parking lot of a Wendy's. <laughs>
And even then, he couldn't make it all the way through. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, so, uh, look, he has a little bit more to say about this when he turns to talking about the cops. And I play this mostly so that you get a bit of an idea. And you'll get more, because we got another video after this, too. But about what the likelihood for a form getting signed by him is. So here is what he had to say, like a minute after that last video, when he turns to the police. It's up to justice right now. It's going to be up to justice. I hope he gets a fair shake, because police have not been treated fairly in our country. They have not been treated fairly. But uh, again, you can't resist a police officer like that. And uh, they ended up in a very terrible disagreement. And look at the way it look at the way it ended. Very bad. Very bad. Police have been mistreated. Wow, you, you know, the like I get said, killed. no, and it's cold, you know, it's white supremacy cold. And a lot of people don't want to say that because people are, you remember when people were afraid to call Donald Trump or a racist or a white supremacist? It's white supremacy cold when you say things like the police has been mistreated in America. You know who's been, who's been treat, mistreated in America? We can go down the line, but First Nations people have been mistreated in America. Uh, you know, black people have been mistreated in America. ADOS people, you know, when you talk about Irish people had their season in America. Italians had their season in America. Puerto Ricans are still having their season in America. Immigrants, you know, but when you talk about law enforcement and you say that they have been un mistreated, I'm sure that there are police officers who have been unjustly uh, treated. We know of the ones like the one that got uh, uh, fired for preventing a, a citizen being choked to death. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are police people who have been mistreated. But to say that law enforcement as a whole, when you go back to the civil rights movement and you go back to Jim Crow and you can see actual footage of the way law enforcement has treated people of color in this country and you turn around and say that is because you are speaking to a specific group of people and those are the people who hate black people in America. Yeah. There's no way you're talking to anybody who makes, who has any semblance of intellect or humanity. Yeah. No. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.